Morning, quick video today. The Bradford bus fire that everybody has sent to me that was claimed to be an EV. Hands in the air, I'm sorry. I looked at it late last night. I went, yep, yeah, probably an EV. It was captioned as an EV bus that was on fire and I shared it. As soon as I realized that it wasn't an EV bus, I deleted it. It was not an electric bus that caught fire. So what's happened is the bus has gone up in smoke in Bradford, MD71EOF, almost spells Jeff. It's a street deck ultraliner EU6. They come in three variants. Pretty confident this is a diesel. Now, it might be that it's a diesel hybrid and I'm, I'm more than willing to be corrected on this, but I wanted to get this out to say, not an EV. All fires matter. As I said in my video yesterday, it was not an electric bus. Interestingly, if you look at the photos in the video, and this video is unedited, so I'll put the links in below. The fire looks like it has started on the top deck. Now, I spent a little bit of time last night researching various bus fires that have been in the news, and they often do start on the top deck. Do you know why? Naughty boys. Naughty boys sit on the top deck of buses. However, the hydrogen fuel cell version of this bus has the hydrogen cells up sort of almost beneath the rear uppermost seats at the back of the bus. So if, if it's a hydrogen bus and you're a naughty boy, I'd sit near the driver, to be totally honest. I know that's not cool, all right? And your Nike trainers and all your stuff that you kids do these days. I don't know why I'm addressing them. They don't watch my videos. The average viewer age on my videos is like a thousand and one. I'm joking. Quite like that Renault Clio over there. Can I drop a picture of that in? It's like a GT line. I think this video's gone sideways. Back to the point. The street deck, as I said, three variants, diesel, hybrid, and hydrogen. Um, the EV version of the bus, all the batteries are at the bottom, on the bottom of the bus. The fire is at the back. So I thought that it was going to be arson from Naughty Boys making fires on the top upper deck. But I'm looking on my Facebook comments from this, this post that I put up this morning. And someone said that the bus was empty when it caught fire. A chap's also said it was a hybrid. So we have a hybrid bus that's gone up in smoke with no one aboard. Local paper said the bus was empty when the fire started, so not arson. Yes, it started on the top deck, but that's right above the engine bay, so most likely issues with heat shields or insulation. Another one went up in flames the same way in Leeds a while back. Could be a manufacturing fault. It's been shared countrywide. 80% of the posts say it's electric. Not everything on fire is electric. I agree. Didn't want to make any videos today because I'm not feeling fantastic still. But I think it's important when I make a mistake, I go on YouTube in front of 80,000 people and say, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have shared it. I should have checked first. It, it wasn't an electric bus. Uh, someone else says there was a bus fire in Bristol in January. Uh, that was a, a petrol powered bus, diesel powered bus. But apparently that was someone lighting newspapers on fire on the top deck. And if you look at that one, I wonder if I can show you that here. Uh, the police were investigating because you can see on the picture, the fire is right at the top of the bus. Can you see that? Terribly bad edited video today from Jeff Buys Cars. Um, but there we go. It was not a EV bus. So EV car fire bingo. If you had a bus in Yorkshire, uh, then you're out doesn't count it, it wasn't an ev further updates now that i've started filming and as this is going to be my only video for today uh the ebay car listing update let's have a look how they're doing uh the smithy volvo this car i'm driving right now for the last time i'm parking it up in the yard later on after cleaning it there's no signal obviously despite the fact that i've got 4g showing on my phone there is now not enough signal to load anything so Clearly, there's something going on with mobile phone signal, as I know, because you all told me in the comments last time I asked if there was something going on with mobile phone signal. So your mobile phone doesn't work half the time. Thick grey fog today, but I'm not really going to mention anything about the skies. Uh, but the eBay listing auctions are going fine. This car is now up to, I think, £1,600. Or it might be at 1650. And I thought 1600 was where this car was going to top out. So maybe I'll do okay on that. The Benz hasn't moved though. My Mercedes SL still at 2200 quid. Cheap. 
very cheap for a, an SL with an MOT. The Fiesta also hasn't moved, still at 771. However, last night, and I can show you this because it doesn't require any internet, last night a gentleman and his cat and his son came to visit me and they went away with the BMW. The BMW has gone. Um, I did quite all right on that one, but that means the auction listing has ended and that means I'm able to spend some money on my Renault 10. So that is it really for this morning. Um, no, it's not. There's two more screens. This has turned into a general update, terrible video. I apologize. There's a couple of screenshots that I wanted to share with you. Uh, right, comments. There's another one here on the MG. All right, this is now a general roundup. MG EVs running away. Hi, Jeff. My mate has a Motability MG SUV. It started spontaneously slamming its brakes on. He returned it to the dealer. No problems were found. My mate and the mechanic went to the vehicle and the passenger seat slammed down spontaneously again. If his wife had been in the seat, under both circumstances, it would have killed her due to her medical issues. I don't understand what that means with, with the seat. I guess it's electric. Um, MG recalled the car. They found 84 faults of which eight were found and deemed to be very serious. He's now being refunded for the car. These things are more dangerous than we thought. And I replied, I'll use this because I've had at least three similar stories sent to me. Uh, I do have MG EV stories in my inbox. What was the other thing to tell you? Ah, okay. House insurance. Has anyone else been asked on house and contents insurance quotes if they keep a battery powered car on the property and if so do they charge it overnight someone else says i've been waiting for that jewel to surface since the ev car insurance costs have been rising and someone else left a brilliant comment which simply said the insurance companies will be in the sorry the insurance companies will be the canary in the ev coal mine that's right because it comes down to money if the insurance companies are having problems if the insurance companies are paying out more, then that's when they'll start to say, whoa, hold up, we need to change something here. Because that's what's going on in the USA with insurance companies that deal with healthcare because they're noticing just how many people are dying right now. All right, bit of a round the houses ramble, that one. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fascinating stuff going on. Uh, really sorry that it's not, an EV bus. I wanted it to be an EV bus. Of course I did, but it's not. Lastly, because it's here on my camera roll, two things for you. Two things. Uh, someone shared that. They're getting involved in Stoptober. Stop flying your private jets in, in October. Thank you everyone who's pledged to not use their private jets. Um, we're going to end with this one. No, we're gonna, they're both bleak. We're going to end on this. Digital Identity Certification. I think digital ID is coming in in January, and I think that's going to mean you're not going to be able to rent a house unless you're signed up to the government digital ID scheme. Not good. Like, not good at all. Lastly, Sadiq Khan has always said, and he's been known to say, that anti-ULEZ protesters are associated with, or directly are, far-right groups or Nazis. Here you go, look. Here's our far-right Nazi. Uh blocking a ULES camera. That's the kind of people that are protesting against the ULES. Definitely looks like a far-right Nazi to me, Sadiq, and not just a normal human being who's fed up with being ripped off all the time. Okay, last thing, because I know not all of you are watching at the nine minute mark. Let me know if you are still watching at the nine minute mark, because I guess this is an important one. Israel, Palestine. I'm not playing. I'm not getting involved in this game again. OK, we've had the whole Russia, Ukraine thing and whatever you say is wrong because the issues are deep and complex. The Israel-Palestine thing. Now, everybody is expected to jump to defend Israel, but there's questions. There's so many questions about everything that's gone on, notwithstanding the fact I'm not taking a side. I don't know enough about it to be able to take a side. But there's a fantastic, I think it's a Louis Theroux documentary, actually, from years ago, where he visited um, the area where the, the Israel were trying to claim and push back. And he saw what was going on and how the Palestinians were being persecuted. So I am absolutely not defending each side, 
This is me publicly coming out and saying, I'm not getting involved, all right? When everyone's changing their flags on social media, when everyone's putting flags up, when celebrities are visiting and flying in to find out what's going on and they're trying to raise money for everything, I'm not playing this time. This is nothing to do with me. I don't want anything to do with it. It's been going on for years. There's major problems and you can guarantee whichever side the government and all the media jump on, it's probably the wrong one. But then if you stand up for the other one, then that's wrong as well. I don't think there's a right way to do it. Can't we just all be nice to each other? This is the thing, isn't it? The media now is going to go all out, go, ah, oh, war, war, war. And at no point is anyone going to stop and say, hang on a minute, everybody calm down. How can we actually sort this out? Because you could, couldn't you? You could. I know, years and years and years of conflict, but we've got the power and the resources to just send a massive army in there and go, everybody stop. Nobody fire a weapon. Everybody stop everything right now. But nobody makes any money and you don't get any support for trying to be like, I'm into aggressive peace. How about that? Aggressive peace. That would be a way better stance to take on all this crap, wouldn't it? Aggressive peace while we sort stuff out. But otherwise, I'm not playing the game anymore. I'm not getting involved. So don't, you know, change your profile pictures and start donating to charities and all this sort of stuff. Don't know. It's too big. It's too complex. Far too big and complex. And yet now we're going to be presented by the media a watered down version of goodies versus baddies and expected to go along with it all like it hasn't been going on for, well, since 1947. Thanks for watching. I feel ill.